Hey, what's up, you guys? This is African Hair God. I'm here doing this uh, voiceover. You guys know I don't do voiceovers uh, a lot. But um, my girl, according to Keisha on here on YouTube, uh, came to me for advice on um, her natural hair. She just recently did her big chop. And so she, I just want to kind of share my experiences uh, in my first beginning two years of being natural because there was a lot of things that I did not know and a lot of things I was just doing wrong that was causing a lot of devastation in my hair so for those of you that are new to being natural or just recently did your big chop I hope you find this to be helpful so we're gonna go ahead and get started because this is gonna be a long video because y'all know I run my mouth so here we are the very beginning oh look at me this is uh, high school this is my senior picture which is I never did buy the pictures which is why the, the watermark is still there <laughs> but yeah as you can see I look very very different I don't even recognize myself anymore here I am with the cello and my friend Brittany, who I don't talk to anymore for some reason. Um, but yeah, you can see my hair is starting to grow. You can see it regress. All right, so here we are. Uh, this is how I particularly wore my hair uh, in the beginning stages when I was trying to get it to grow out and get a little more length. I did the whole cornrows thing. And um, they were okay. I, I'm not a big fan of the cornrows. Uh, it's, it's just not me. It's really not me. Um, these particular cornrows, however, are feeding cornrows. And the guy who did my hair, um, I had him add hair to my cornrows because I didn't want the little, like, nubs in the back. That's just not cute. I needed hang time. So, I, he added, uh, hair at the very ends of the cornrow to kind of keep it discreet. And make it look natural and so yeah here's some pictures of me and the cello just uh, so you can get a better sense of my my hair I guess yeah so here's another cornrow hairstyle by the same guy um, this time he added a little longer more a little more length to the back and he did a really intricate design in the middle um, here, if you look closely, you can actually see the difference in hair color from my hair with the extension hair. We were on a budget, so we just kind of used what he had. Um, but yeah, you really couldn't tell unless, you know, I just pointed it out like I just did. But, uh, yeah. Sorry, that's my phone. And, um, so I had to stop going to him because he was... It, it just got really, really unprofessional. I'm not going to go in detail, but I'm just going to tell you he had a crush on me, and it was just, it, it just wasn't working out. So I made it a point to learn how to do my hair myself. I got tired of depending on other people. So here we are. This is when I first started experimenting with my hair because I just had no idea what to do with this. So I flat ironed my hair here. I just... I just took a flat iron and I just went in at it and this is what I got I did no blow drying I I don't even know if I I, I don't even know if I shampooed and conditioned my hair before but whatever this is what I got um, didn't experience any um, like heat damage like particularly loss of curl pattern but my hair felt really dry really stripped and my ends were horrible afterwards so I just after I experimented with heat a couple of times, I just never did it again. And here is where, here's my first set of flat toes. I went on YouTube, I found YouTube, and started watching videos to kind of teach myself how to care and maintain my hair myself. And so, um, I watched videos and learned how to flat twist. I would practice daily. You know, I'm, I, I was not the flat twisting protege that you see before you now. You know, it took practice. And so this was my very first set. And, um, yeah, I was very pleased. So that's that. Uh, here is my first, like, attempt at my mohawk. And I kind of had the idea in my head of what I wanted the mohawk to look like. I was kind of going for this look right here with the, the swooping flat twist. And I was just kind of trying to experiment more with my flat twist. And, um, yeah. You can see the rubber bands in the back are kind of sporadic and just kind of really random. I 
I didn't have a lot of experience doing my hair myself and so I wasn't putting in those rubber bands in properly and so it did cause breakage for me in the beginning when I first used them and now my computer is going to die. So um, continuing on, uh, here on the other side of the mohawk you can see is a whole completely different story. Um, my flat twisting, not well not the flat twisting but my parting was... Um, it was more difficult to part this side than the other side, um, probably because I'm right-handed and I wasn't used to parting my hair a lot. So, yeah, it just didn't come out right. And for the middle section, I, I had no idea what to do with it. I had no idea. So I just kind of left it like that. And I kind of was wanted it to stick up and shape right. And it just wouldn't. It would just get all, like, afro-y. So I was using a lot of, like, gels and and spritz and and holding creams and nothing was working and it was just really just drying on my hair all right so here is another set of flat twists and this was actually one whole year being natural for me you can't really see a lot of the length but um you can see that I've improved with uh, the parting and kind of gotten into the whole groove of my flat twist style. This kind of became my signature look, as you guys much know. So this was kind of a cute style with the little headband and the little puff in the back. Um, yeah, not really much to say here. So we're just going to let the pictures keep on going. And here we are. All right, so this is... Um, a twist out set that I did on my hair. I tried to experiment my hair more and just try to find different things to do with it. And so, uh, that's what it was. Oh, in this picture, I got my ears pierced and I was real happy about that. And it was, <laughs> I was in icing screaming. Like, people were looking back at me like, what is wrong with this flaming kid? Like, I was literally screaming like I was going to die. But anyways... Um, yeah, so I did the twist out, and, um, this, I actually spritzed the twist out with water, not knowing that it would frizz out my hair a lot, and I think I just pretty much doused it, and so the definition kind of went away after, within the course of, like, 10, 15 minutes, but I took some pictures before it actually disappeared completely, and, um, so kept going with the flat twist, and then my hair actually got long enough for me to do... Uh, two strand twists without them being like many twists so I did two strand twists in the back and you guys know that kind of became signature for me and yeah so that's the design there's another picture here's another set of flat twists now this is where I really really was like real proud of myself because I really just improved with the overall flat twisting technique and parting and all that stuff y'all guys know you guys know i'm a perfectionist and you can just see just how for how how much of it i am because these flat twists are lined up like soldiers you see this not a single strand out of place i'm saying i'm telling you everything was just perfect uh, another set um, just kind of kept playing around with it, doing different things, like here with the beaded flat twist. All right, so now we get into the good stuff. Okay, so here you can see I'm rocking an Afro Puff. And you guys are thinking, wow, this Afro Puff looks uh, amazingly perfect. And yes, it does. But it came at a cost. I was, I was such a perfectionist, and my hair was so short that I wanted it to look full and look completely round. And my, I just wasn't... I wasn't used to my hair texture. It was just, it was really weird. If I just pulled my hair back into a puff, it just did not look right to me. So I had, what I did was, I took a comb and a wide tooth comb. I would just comb out my hair. I would just like literally comb it out and stretch it. It would just like really stretch. And then I would take water, I would spritz my hair, and then I would pat it down into this perfectly round shape. This whole process would take about 30 30 to a whole hour 30 minutes to a whole hour that's how long it took and that's how long i spent every day doing my hair like this um and the problem with this that combing every day was so horrible for my hair i did not realize the damage that i was doing it was giving me a lot of break like my ends were just snapping off it was like snap crackle and pop like it was just crazy so 
I tried something else to um, kind of stretch my hair. I did the whole braid out. Here you can do see the braid set that I put in to stretch. And you can kind of get a sense of how long my hair was. So here is the afro. What I did was took the braid out, undid the braids. I would then comb the braids with a wide tooth comb. And then on top of that, afterwards, I would take the afro pick and just pick, 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 pick my hair like, like I was on some picking frenzy and this is the result of that and you can see my hair looks as though it's been blow dried no heat was used at all for this and that's not a good thing because my hair was just snapping off at the ends all that combing all that picking all that ripping through my hair was just really devastating um and I was doing that a lot, as you will see. Here is another set of flat twists. Um, okay, and what the thing I want to mention with this is another problem that I had with my hair journey was that I got so happy with the fact that I learned how to do my hair and I could flat twist and everybody was complimenting my hair and saying, oh, your hair is so cute, all that stuff. I was just running through hairstyles. Like, I'm going to show you. If you keep track of the dates, here is February the 3rd. The month is in the middle for some reason. Um, and here I did the two strand twist in the back. So I did that style and then jumped into another style immediately after. And the whole the thing about it was I did not keep these styles in too long. And then, okay, so there from that style, I went into this style, the mini twist, which took me about six, seven hours to do, to the mini twist out, which led to a lot of tangling and breakage because I wasn't taking them out properly. And so then I, after right after that, I tried this type of twist out, this chunky twist out here, which ended up ultimately in a fail, uh, as you can see. And so I just pulled it back into a puff. And then from there, I went and did the mohawk, which came out pretty cute for it being my second mohawk. And here, I love this picture. It looks like my, like my hair is alive. Um, but yeah, oh, I'm not even done. So this is uh, the end of March now. I did like flat twists in the front, like, uh, and then did like an afro in the back. And here, again, I did not use heat in my hair. I did not use a blow dryer. This I did the whole braiding and combing and picking out method and lost, experienced so much breakage. But I was so obsessed with having this full, thick head of hair that I just didn't realize the damage that I was doing to it. But, I, I mean, it was cute. So, all right, here we are. We made it to year two. Um, how long am I in with this recording? Okay, we are at 13 minutes. Wow, it's okay um here i am at year two here i am again with the the perfect puff again still two years going natural still doing the same things that is damaging my hair but i did not realize it at the time here is another afro set um not really i mean it got it grew a little bit but it wasn't that that big because i was experiencing so much breakage i didn't have a lot of length retention so took that afro pulled it back into this puff and even after i pulled it back into the puff i would pick again to get the shape like perfectly round and perfect i was so stuck on this full perfect afro puff my hair just was not it was not long enough it was not naturally full like that and i was trying to force my hair to do that to something that it just was not ready to do um I mean, but my hair was cute. I, I have to admit, it was cute, but it just was not, it was not worth it. It was not worth it. Okay, so here is another set of flat twists, which, two strand twists. And so from here, I did this. This was a twist out with the flat twist out and the two strand twist out. As you can see, when you do flat twists kind of small and you undo it, you don't get that, that good definition as you do with thicker flat twists. So this is what it looks like. And so from there, I pulled my hair back into a puff and just picked only at the roots um, and didn't experience any type of breakage. Um, as you can see, I still got the same amount of fullness from the 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 braiding and the combing and the picking but i didn't i achieved it without all that breakage um 
I still was a little obsessed with the, the whole perfect look and perfect shape and everything. So I probably picked it out a little more than I needed to. And in this picture, you can kind of see just how, well, maybe you can't see. You can, yeah, you can, you can see just how full my hair was. Um, but it was, it was naturally stretched from the whole twist and the flat twist. And I didn't have to manipulate my hair as much. All right, so after uh, about a while, this is soon after I started YouTube, uh, making YouTube videos. Um, I started to embrace my natural texture and my shrinkage a lot more. Uh, and stop trying to achieve that all that fullness because my hair it grew but it grew at such a slow rate because my hair was breaking off constantly so it finally grew to a length where it kind of had fullness to it so I didn't have to extremely pick at my hair a lot so here you can kind of see um, just what I'm talking about and in this picture this is a comparison shot between six months you can kind of see uh, the difference in fullness with my hair within just six months um, and at the time when I first uh, got on YouTube I started to uh, pay attention to my hair more and take a lot more care into my hair because I didn't want to come on here and give you guys bad information and then have you destroying your hair so that would have been horrible and um, now we're going into my most recent pictures this is my hair uh, now, I believe I took this picture sometime in April of 2011. Um, this was a, a pre-poo treatment I was doing in my hair. And you can just see the natural fullness in my hair, even with the shrinkage. Um, and you can really see the health and the um, elasticity in my hair. Uh, this is uh, one of my most recent pictures as well. This is a hairstyle I did, just experimenting with my hair. Um, I think the biggest thing, uh, now that I look back on it with uh, me doing so many damaging things to my hair, is that I felt like it lacked versatility. I, I didn't know what to do with my hair. I didn't know what I could do with my hair. But it's, it's a process. It really is a process. You just have to let your hair grow out and the longer your hair gets you'll be able to do a lot more fun and different things with it it becomes a lot more versatile the longer that it gets but it's only going to get there if you you know treat your hair properly and care for it properly and stop doing all this extra combing and styling your hair every week all that breakage is just too much so as you can see is like my hair has become very versatile with the length so that is it this is like um, a picture of my afro when I did my length check back in April, my third year of being natural. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry that this was so long, but I hope you guys took something from this video. And um, yeah, that's it, everybody. Be blessed. I'll see you all next time. Bye.